Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss the mid-month convention. In the prior session, we discussed the mid-year convention and we also discussed the mid-quarter convention. And we stated that those conventions, mid-year and mid-month, applies to personal property. And we differentiate between personal property and real property. In this session, as we are discussing the mid-month convention, the mid-month convention applies to real or realty property. What's real and realty property? Building, warehouses, land, things that are affixed to the land that are not movable. A car will be considered a personal property, by the way. Is there personal use or personal property? But we talked about this in the prior session. So let's take a look at makers realty or makers for real property. Again, here we are talking about buildings because we don't depreciate land. That's the reason why we assume building. Now, we're going to break down the real property into two type of real property. We're going to have residential rental. What is residential rental? It's where people live. And we have non-residential property. It's considered commercial. Think of office building. This is what we mean by residential versus non-residential. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to have class life, different class life for each classes of these property. For the residential rental, we're going to have 27 and a half years. For non-residential, we're going to have 39 years. The method of depreciation we're going to be using, it's going to be straight line versus, if you remember, under the others, under the half year and the mid-quarter, we use the double declining balance, the 200 or the 150. Or, and we, we are going to assume a mid-month convention, not a mid-year, not a mid-quarter. For real property, we're going to be using mid-month. And again, Residential real estate include property where 80% of the gross rental income are non from non-transient. It means non-transient mean people don't move around. Non-transient dwelling, which is rental, rental property. People live there. That's in, that's what we talk about apartment building. However, hotels, motels, and similar establishment are not residential rental property. What is the mid-month convention? If a property is put into use at any point in a given month, it's considered to have put on the 15th on that month or disposed of for that matter. For example, a commercial building that's put into use on April 3rd will be treated as it puts into, into use on April 15th. Now, obviously, we have a different schedule for the residential and non-residential. This is the residential rental property. Notice it's 27 and a half years, mid-month convention, mid-month convention, straight line method. Notice the first year we're going to have a partial depreciation. Therefore, the rate for the, this is month, January, February, March, April, May, and this is year one, year two to nine, year 10, 11, so on and so forth. Notice here after year one until the last year, basically it's 3.636 or 3. 3.6. 6, 3, 7 rounding. Basically, it's the straight line, the same amount every year, as long as you have a full year depreciation. However, year one will be prorated because it's a partial year. It's a partial year, but the computation has been done for you. We'll work an example illustrating how to use this. Same concept for non-residential. Again, when I say non-residential, we're talking about commercial property. It's 39 years straight line. Those tables are from the IRS. Notice the first year, it's different for each month, J January, February, March. Why? Because it's a prorated. Then notice as you go down, it's going to be lower. Then for the remaining from year two to year 39, it's the same amount because we're going to have this asset for the full year. Then the last year, it will be prorated to make up the full 
year to make up the full year if you add those two they should add up to 2.564 and let's do that just so i will show you if we take 2.461 plus 0.1 2.461 plus 0.0107 that's equal to let's say it again 2.461 plus 0.107 that's equal to 2.568 again this is a rounding issue but approximately 2.564 567 something like that And this is the non and this is a non-commercial non-residential rental property which is commercial 39 years mid-month convention and straight line notice in year one always it's going to be prorated because year one you're going to take partial year depreciation depending on the month then from year two to year 39 you're going to have the same amount because we're using the straight line assuming you don't sell it then in year 39 and a half or in year 40 you'll have a partial as well let's take a look at an example for a residential real estate to illustrate how we use the tables on april 1st 2005 john purchased a building for a million which could qualify as a residential rental real estate residential rental real estate means it's subject to the 27 and a half years mid-month convention using the straight line so let's assume we're in the year 2022 or could be in the year you know up until the next 26 years the cost recovery deduction will be how much well we're going to take a million and the cost recovery deduction is 0 0.0363 which is from year two to year all the way year 27 it's this rate 3.3.636 percent which is 0 0.0336 so the total amount is 36360 If the property is sold on October 5th, the deduction would be different. Why? If it's sold in October, that's the 10th month. The 10th month. And if, that is, if it's the 10th month, so it's right here, the, rate, the full rate is 0 0.3636. However, however, for that year, we, we, we can take the majority of the year, which is nine and a half months, because it's assumed it's sold in the middle of the month so we have nine full month plus this middle so we're gonna take the full depreciation multiplied by nine five nine point five divided by twelve and if my math is right we will take twenty eight thousand seven eighty two because we had it for a partial year the majority of the year but nevertheless it's a partial year a little bit over 75 percent because this is by itself 75 percent plus you know this small part let's take a look at an example that illustrate the commercial which is what we're doing by commercial 39 and a half 39 years a building was purchased was by john on november 2nd 2022 for a million if the property is classified non-residential it means commercial the cost recovery will be how much now we're going to be using the stable 39 years straight line mid-month well what is the rate the rate is point three two one zero why point three two one zero we purchased this building in november november is the 11th month for the 11th month it's going to be already prorated point three two one zero which is a million times this amount let's assume the property was sold on may 5th 2025 instead of being held for the entire year okay how much will be the deduction well so going forward the rate it's going to be from year two to year 39 the full rate is 0 0.2 2.564 percent now since we sold it in may since we sold it in may so we had this asset a full four month and we assume we sold it mid-may it doesn't matter when in may we assume we sold it mid-may therefore we're going to take the full year multiply by the portion of the year we held this asset which is 4.5 divided by 12 times a million if my math is right again you can check the math if it's not right you know i apologize but it should be right it should be 9615 so this is how we will use the mid-month convention now what should you do now i would go to far hat lectures look at additional mcqs true false notes and additional lectures that's going to help you understand the cost recovery method 
Again, under cost recovery, we learn about half-year convention, mid-quarter convention. Half-year and mid-quarter apply to what? Applies to personal property. Mid-month convention, we just covered, applies to real property. Good luck. Study hard whether you're a CPA candidate, enrolled agent, or an accounting student. Invest in yourself and stay safe.